if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 12 Matrix Survival Difficulty Class 0 Safe Secure Devoid of Entities Level 12 is the 13th level of the back rooms. Description Level 12 appears to possess a simple effect, not shared by any known level, in that it censors itself. Any attempts to record or photograph level 12 will result in either a simple white image, or a massive noise and TV static. When uploaded to another device, footage of level 12 will convert into a standard SMPTE testing screen, lacking any color. It is unknown why or how this change occurs. Any information included with footage or image data, such as a file name, is also censored. Level 12's environment is by far one of the most basic. A small, brightly lit, white painted room containing nothing more than a table and a chair, as well as an adjacent locked door. Many wanderers report having entered and successfully escaped the level though the exact method by which this is achieved is unknown and almost never remembered by survivors. Footnote 1. Likely due to Level 12's inherent censoring properties. As of yet, no Level 12 entity sightings have been appended to the MEG database. Addendum 1. Report. SL-12M. Expedition Log. Matrix. Welcome back, Commander Harris. Your speech will be transcribed below. <sighs> level 12 extends for longer than we originally thought. The structure of this level has changed slightly. It's no longer a room. It's an infinite white abyss. Seems like shit really breaks down the further you go from the table and chair. We started finding random objects and furniture. The most bland shit I've ever seen, to be perfectly honest. Looks all old, beaten up. Lamps. Chairs, tables, drawers, the works. Some are somewhere halfway through the floor. This place seems to be messing with our heads, too. Memories have gotten all foggy. Doesn't seem to be permanent, but I'll wager it can get much worse. Frankie, she... she's not right anymore. I don't want to lose myself in here. Sorry about that. Lost grip on my professionalism a tad. Moving on. In the main area, there's some sort of hole under the table. We can't access it right now, seems like the table won't move. We found similar doors like the doors in the main area out here. Brings you back there if you walk through them. What was that, Sam? Ah, right. Forgot to mention, we found no signs of any entities out here. Seems to be peaceful, relatively speaking. After a lot of trial and error, the trial tester boys have found a way out of here. Seems like the only reliable way to exit involves following a series of specific steps, which I'll transcribe, to the best of my ability, under here in post. Hopefully we've got it right, don't want to get folks stranded here. Future Harris here, time to organize this shit. Don't worry too much, I've ran it past a few of the nerds on the squad. You must be sitting on the original, main room chair, and you must have remained there for an average of 15 minutes. Get up. Walk to the door, and try to open it. Should be locked. If it opens, lucky you, I guess. Go and boast about it to everyone in Alpha Base. Make sure you do this, though, even if you know it's locked. Return to the center of the room, and find one of the nooks that leads into this white open area. You need to find one of the copycat doors out there. Shouldn't be too hard. Open and enter said door. As per usual, you will end up back in the main room. Wait for exactly one hour, no more, no less, and try to open the door again. If it doesn't open, 
Repeat the steps. Try to turn the handle as close to the one hour mark as possible. If the door does open, it should lead to one of the early levels. We don't have a precise list just yet, but I suspect you can refer to the database page for this level if you are after an exact pool of possible destinations. It's kinda hard to communicate properly with people in level 12 once you're out of it. As soon as the effects wear off, you realize just how bad the mental fogginess is. The original exit from the door is still unknown, as this level has changed from Revision 1's description. Okay, it's been an additional hour, and the strategy worked. Gab's managed to create a pathway to level 1. A lot of the team seem pretty out of it. Let's hope they get better when they leave. This is Commander Harris, Team Leader, Provisional Team Matrix, signing off. End recording. Bases, Outposts, and Communities There are no known bases, outposts, or communities on this level. Entrances and Exits Entrances It is unknown exactly how Transport to Level 12 is achieved. However, several reports state that a window entity within Level 11 can be used as a guideline to safely no-clip into the level. Exits Escape has been proven possible following Expedition Log, Matrix, included above. Following extensive research, the escape route discovered by Provisional Team Matrix may transport wanderers to level minus one, level four, level 10, level 19, level 23, level 25, or level 34.